They're not asking you to find this value or that value. They're specifically asking for the sum of both of these values. And this is a popular pattern on the SAT. Whenever you see a question that asks specifically for the sum or product of the roots, that's a sign that this equation that the question gave you is not going to be factorable. That's not how they want you to solve it. Instead, they want you to solve it using a very special formula. For the sum of the x values, it's going to be minus b over a. For product, it's going to be c over a. And what are these a, b, c's? Well, a is going to be the coefficient of x squared, b is right there, and c is right there. So in order for us to find the sum of the x's, all we have to find is the b value, a value, and just plug it in. So what's our b value? b is 24. So negative 24, a value is 3, which means our answer is going to be negative a, which means the sum of the x values is going to be negative a. And that's why these questions are either you know it or you don't, because if you don't know these formulas, then no matter how hard you try, you're not going to be able to solve these questions. It's going to take you like two, three minutes. However, if you know the keywords to look for, like sum and product, and recognize that, oh, these are not going to be factorable, just go straight to the formula and you can get to the answer very quickly.